Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. It is time for the challenge, part two of the reunion. I'm sad to see it go, but I'm happy All Stars is still on so I can get my, my challenge fixed. All Stars will be on tonight. I mean, I guess I could watch it now, but I'm not going to watch it till tonight and I'm not going to review it until tomorrow, maybe one day over the weekend. It's going to be a busy weekend for me. <sighs> Finally, we get to see Nelson read Fessy down. He ain't read them down enough for me. He, he didn't read them down enough for me. Nelson starts out and says he thought ne Nelson, Corey, and Fessy were good friends. They had a really good season, I guess, 35. And I thought they was the homeboys alliance too. Like, I thought Fessy was the new hunter and they were the homeboys again. <sighs> so what happened? What had happened was in the off season. I guess Nelson had some kind of business opportunity. Fessy was like, that's my homeboy. Yeah, put me on. And then after Fessy went back and did a little bit of research, he was like, I don't really know. Take me off. And they had some kind of falling out over this business opportunity. They didn't talk for three months. And bam, it's time for Challenge 36. We ain't talked for three months, but we still cool. Yeah, we cool. You got my back? Yeah, I got your back. I got your back too. Handshake off it's time for 36 so in nelson's mind he thinks they're all good in fessy's mind he feel like i said we was all good but i ain't talked to your ass in three months so i it really ain't good fessy on the bullshit <laughs> fessy on the bullshit because at the end of the day you came into the house and what i don't understand i'm gonna get to it later but i want to say it right now they rode Teresa and jay hard i feel like Jay quit 37 because he had a reminisce of the reunion 36 and was like, they're going to vote me in first. Fuck them. Like they rode Teresa and Jay so hard. But Fessy and Leroy and everybody else get a pass. Oh, it's Leroy last season. Let's, let's um cry tears of celebration of, you know, over Leroy 10 years, but no winning. But, Oh, but not Jay. Uh-uh, not Jay. All right, I, let's stick to the subject at hand because I'm about to get upset. When I get to that Jay and Teresa segment, I'm reading some bitches. But we gonna get there. So, Fessy apologizes in text instead of calling. And I said, that's bitch made. Yes, I agree. He don't need no social media apology. But Nelson deserved a phone call. And you deserve to sit there and get cussed out by nelson instead of in a text you sent the text because that's bitch made you send a text when you just want to send your feelings out there or whatever you got to say out there and you don't want to deal with the response because you can ignore a text in a text you don't get the same interpretation to where if i'm in your face or on the phone cussing you out you understand the cuss out but in the words, you can be like, <laughs> whatever. You deserve to call Nelson if you want to hear it or not. You deserve to get hung up in the face. Whatever Nelson wanted to do, if that was your true friend and you wanted a true apology, you should have called him. FaceTimed him if you want to be face-to-face. -face. Because this reunion ain't nothing but a big-ass FaceTime. Moving on. So Fessy now says, two of my friends were getting ready to go in together. It was going to be Nelson versus Josh. I was going to end up losing an alliance member anyway. So why not me kick out an alliance member and get my skull? That's pretty much what he said. And he pretty much let Nelson and Corey know, big brother all day. Big homeboys is on the back seat, but it's big brother all day. And what pisses me, see, I'm going to read Corey in it. Let me read Corey real quick. Because at one point of the reunion, Corey says, F Survivor. Like, he don't trust nobody on Survivor. But I better not see you working with Big Brother. Because Big Brother is the one that fucked you over. Big Brother is the one who said, fuck the homeboys. I'm going to let Josh live and help Josh get a gold skull. Forget Nelson. Forget Corey. That it should you should say fuck Big Brother all day. Big Brother needs to be your hit list, Corey. If you come on 37 going after my girl Michaela because she was on Survivor, I ain't got nothing else to do with you, Corey. You, you getting red every time I see you. That's future reads coming your way. But moving on, 
I had to get that out while that was on my mind because Corey had pissed me off when he said that. <clears throat> but pretty much what Tori said was, I wanted to save Josh. Like, Tori has, Tori and Fessy have just told you that they care more about that Big Brother Alliance than they care about you guys. <sighs> and Josh all upset. Well, I, I wanted to go in. Yeah, Josh, you, you ain't want to go in. You wanted to live. You ain't want that smoke with Nelson, for real, for real. Um, Nelson says he was hurt. It was kind of sad to see you, but I was kind of like, Nelson, are you really hurt? <laughs> but I think I think Nelson's feelings really were hurt. hurt. The homeboys are now de dead. The only two homeboys is going to be Corey and Nelson. Y'all got to convince y'all boy Hunter to come back. Why Why can't Hunter come back? I don't know. And Fessy is forever on Nelson's shit list. I hope to see it. The problem with... The problem with Fessy being on Nelson's hit list is... Nelson is not known for getting into these... What do they call them? Trifectas? Tribunals? Coronations? You know, the big group, the power groups. Nelson isn't known for winning the dailies. He's known for having an alliance where if it's a, a vote, he might can stay out of a vote. But Fessy is known for winning these dailies and having the power where I could see Fessy be like, well, fuck it, Nelson against me, Nelson go in first. The question, that's why I don't like Vernon Davis as a a host he wasn't asking the good questions the question i would have asked tori was why are you so how are you so close to fessy and y'all weren't so-called messing around that you're willing to listen to what fessy wants over what your old partner Corey's homeboy wants because nelson was cool with getting josh and when did tori and josh become so close I would have read Tori down. Y'all let Tori, it was too light. It was too light. You was letting your fuck buddy get his gold skull. And that's why you went home next or close to next soon. Early. You know, but anyway, homeboys versus big brother. I think big brother will get it because I think big brother has the best opportunity to get a daily. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well, they might make up in the off season, but I don't want to see that. I want to see Nelson get his revenge. I do. If it's a partner season next season, <sighs> Nelson needs a beast of a partner. I don't know who it is because I can't remember the women who's going to be on there yet. I don't know, but Nelson, you need a beast of a partner. Don't pick no rookie, Nelson. Don't pick no fucking rookie. Even Michaela. I, I love Michaela. <laughs> I do, but Nelson needs a strategic partner in the game so he can get Fessy ass out. But anyway, um, we fast forwarding through Josh and CT. Josh ain't want no smoke. We really can fast forward through Fessy and CT because I feel like Fessy is only on his apology tour because he lost. And someone said it at the reunion. If Fessy wouldn't have won, he wouldn't be saying any of this. And I wouldn't either. Hell, if I won, I did what I had to do to win. Sorry for it. You should have did what you had to do. But since Fessy didn't win, he did all that, what he had to do to sit over there and look with at KC with her broke knee. Anyway, they say Fessy needs humble pie. I think Fessy needs to win. Because if we go by this logic... Fessy's logic. Fessy thinks because he's a beast at eliminations and he's a beast at these dailies that he's like a champ. And I'm like, well, hell, Anissa is a champ then. Anissa ass ain't one shit. She good at the eliminations. <laughs> I ain't mean to read Anissa. Anyway, Leroy versus Kyle. I say it every week. I wish Leroy would have threw Corey in. Like, if you're going to play... Cold-blooded, slit your throat. Slit Corey's throat. Yeah, he got two kids, but you want two kids, don't you? Like, you need some money for your future two kids. Corey will be back this show last season. Slit. 
Cam said she wished Leroy would have slept on it like they agreed, like he made the move too fast. Cam, you should have slit your partner's throat. You should have put Corey down there, let your man grab you as a partner. I feel like you two had a great shot to win. I feel like you two could have won it if y'all would have ran it together. Um, Then Leroy went to say, well, I felt like I could do Kyle dirty because he done other people dirty. And Kyle said, uh, 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 hold up. I ain't do shit to you, though. Don't put on what I did to so-and-so on why you can do me a certain way. And I agree. Like, people do shit to people every day. Ain't nobody, nobody in life perfect. That's like, anybody can say, well, you fucked over so-and-so, so I'm gonna fuck over you. No, if I ain't did shit to you, leave me the fuck alone. You know, and let's move on from that because a lot of this shit is boring. So let's get up to lay up Amber and Wimber, winner Amber. The two Ambers got to talk. Amber B had two alliances, big brothers and the rookies. And everybody lay up Amber mad because Amber B lied. I forgot what she lied about. I think she lied and said she voted for somebody, but she really ended up voting for lay up Amber. Who cares? The bitch lied. She won. To me, when you win, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Whatever lie I told, it, it got me to the win. <sighs> Layup Amber is pressed. But I said, Layup Amber, she shouldn't even be there. I wouldn't even argue with the bitch. And I definitely wouldn't apologize to the bitch. I'm not apologizing to nobody that go like this in the hall, bro. Like, bitch, you ain't even participate. TJ should have said, see, you never take your ass home and you shouldn't be on this reunion stage. Amber B was like, I got the bag, and that's all I would have said. Why am, I, why am I apologizing to a bitch and I got the bag? She needs to apologize to me. <laughs> now, trust me, I ain't no Amber B fan. But at the end of the day, she won. And then here go Amber B crying. Oh, if it wasn't for Cam, if it wasn't for Kyle and Anissa and Darrell, I would have never got through this. I don't know how I made it. I said, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm with Gabby. I'm rolling my eyes. Bitch, the only person you need to thank is your partner. Because if it wasn't for CT, being able to add y'all asses would have still been in that damn ice cave trying to figure out one plus two plus three on y'all fucking fingers. So, bitch, be happy you got a partner that could add. Thank his ass and, and put your money in the bank. Shut up. You don't owe nobody apology. But at the end of the day, girl, big brother didn't care about you. I feel like at the end of the day, I love saying at the end of the day, you should have, I would have stuck with the rookie alliance and tried to slit big brother's throat because you lucked into that win. You lucked into that win because you got Amber B in the hall brawl, then you got Big T in the hall brawl. Anybody else, you would have lost. Anybody other than, I feel like even Gabby probably would have gave you a little bit of work in the hall brawl. So, <sighs> I would have stuck with my rookie girls and <sighs> moving on. But like I said, once you win, you really ain't got to apologize. Now we get a couple of alerts that were stupid. Devin told Nani to shut up. She got 10 years but zero wins, and that was just nothing but a fact. And then now we get to Teresa and Jay, and this is what pisses me off. And I said it all when they, you know, when the season was going on. What's up with this heads up thing? You ain't giving me a heads up, so you on my shit list. You ain't. And I'm like, Kyle and Corey are bitching the most, but they didn't even fucking have to go in. It was the partners. They wanted Ashley out of the game. Ashley walking around the house talking about, look at my new titties. I'm a millionaire, Mitchell, all this, all that. Ashley is always bragging about how she got a million dollars. And she, you know, if Ashley get pissed off, I got a million dollars. I ain't even got to be here, bitch. I bet you ain't got shit of that money left. But moving on. Your outfit ain't look like you got no money left. But moving on. They wanted Ashley in the elimination and they wanted Ashley to go home. So by putting, trying for lobbying to get Kyle and Ashley as the house vote was not a backstab against Kyle because pretty much we, we at home knew it was a girl's elimination. It was a girl's elimination. They wanted Ashley in. Cam and Corey, they ain't getting me the heads up. 
they ain't giving me a heads up. But I remember, ain't shit wrong with my vision. My memory might be bad, but ain't shit wrong with my vision. Well, it is. I got my contacts on. But back to the point. Teresa sat down with Cam and said, how you feel about going in against Ashley? She let you know they wanted Ashley to be the vote. Cam, how you feel about going in? When a bitch come to you and say how you feel about going in, they don't care if you say yes or no. That's your fucking heads up. Cam, you know this. And then I'm looking through all the episodes. I don't recall nobody getting the fucking heads up. I ain't seen nobody like, bitch, you, got, you getting ready to go in. It was always an aha moment or I got a feeling moment. <sighs> I hate they did Jay and Teresa like that. And I hate it the most because <laughs> I'm trying not to say at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, Teresa was on the chopping block. If Teresa were to throw Nani in there, Teresa was still going to be the next girl to go in, period. Same with Jay. Here, Josh talking about, I told y'all I ain't trust Jay. It was something about it. I felt it bubbling up. I'm like, shut up, Josh. Like, somebody slapped the shit out of him. I can't stand Josh. Josh was lobbying for Jay because in Josh's mind, Jay was a layup. Josh was starting shit with Jay because he wanted to be a problem with Jay because he wanted Jay to be the layup for him. And Jay would have smoked him ass. Jay would have smoked Josh in that. I would have loved to see it. So Jay was next on the chopping block, period two. So to me, it didn't matter if Jay and Teresa gave you a heads up or not. All they did was gave you an opportunity or a reason for them to be the next on the hit list that they were already on anyway. They were not a part of the big alliance. It wasn't going to be like, oh, you saved me, so I'm going to save you. No, you was going to put their asses in there anyway. So it's like, come off of y'all high horses. <sighs> Let's move on. I got pissed off. And that's what pissed me off with Corey, but I read Corey earlier, like, talking about I ain't trusting nobody from Big Brother. Like, fuck. forget you, Corey, because you dumb. You trusting... You want to trust Fessy? They already said Big Brother is Fessy, Casey, and Josh. And anybody else sprinkled along from Big Brother is going to be that hangers on and, you know, rock with them. So you rather work with Fessy, Casey, and Josh, who you know only have each other's backs over anybody new from Survivor just because they're from Survivor and Jay didn't give you a fucking heads up. That's why your ass, Corey, ain't never won no game. Because you do stupid shit. You do stupid shit. Let's move on. Let's move on. Because I'm telling you, Corey, if you fucking um, get my girl, Michaela, out, it's on and popping in the comments and in the reads next season. The real bitching about something with CT, I don't care. Teresa, they said Teresa said her toddlers were more entertaining. Probably. Because y'all bitches ain't do nothing entertaining this season. I was not entertained. Especially after that second Super Trailer. Y'all asses wasn't participating. Y'all asses was voting for Leroy and Cam. Her toddlers were more entertaining than the shit y'all was doing on my TV screen. Get it together. And Nani talking about, well, if your toddlers are more entertaining and you so rich, you should stay home. I said, bitch, you sound like a hater. You mad you ain't got no man with a um, football career and some toddlers? You sound like a hater while you over here crying about Cam Lee where you need to be finding a man of your own. But let's move on. <sighs> Anissa gets a segment. I like Anissa. I love all the love they showed Anissa. Anissa is an elimination beast and she is a daily challenge beast. And she like, fuck y'all. Y'all think I ain't got no endurance, but I'm still here and I'm doing all. I'm like, bitch, hold up. I'm going to give you some flowers. But I'm also going to give you some advice. Bitch, yes, you can throw medicine balls harder than Tori. Yes, you got thick, powerful thighs that can pull down the medicine balls quicker than Tori. But bitch, you couldn't run at half a mile. So if you couldn't run at half a mile, you damn sure wasn't running no damn 10, 12 miles in the final. So I don't care. You, you, you just like, you are like fancy shit. Y'all got the same logic. Bitch, until you win something, shut up. 
Now, we're going to give you your flowers for being here 12, 13 years, but you should have won something. And if you want someone to take you seriously, especially in a partnership scenario or a team, if it ain't individuals, ain't nobody scared of you. <laughs> like, if it's individuals, we want your ass to run the final. But if it's a team, Anissa, you need to be in the gym running every day. Like I said, I could run one or two times around the track, but can your ass run for five miles? Let's move on. Because I like Anissa, and I like that they showed her some love. Because she, she is great, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Why is Nam there? And why are we talking about his broke back? And why are we talking about Kyle's broke finger? Let's not. Um, We get some more stupid clips. Um... Devin can't understand Nicole. Me neither. Leo and Kyle wrestling. Leo quit, so I don't give a fuck and don't invite him back. Wes getting that shoe in his face. That was hilarious. I think I rewind it and watched that about two extra times again. Who was Jacob? And why are we talking about him? Big T... Oh, they showed that segment where Big T pulverized ct in the doorway with a pillow but she couldn't barely pinch amber b <sighs> moving on and josh and his pathetic ghost go in like i'm happy they decided to embarrass josh again that was great um that just reminded me that the reunion should have been one part in one hour <laughs> they talk about a toy of nelson's it's some kind of sex toy because nelson said he brought it because he was sexually frustrated but the most disturbing part of this toy is he said he left it and other people used it and he wants it back. Like, this shit is disgusting. I ain't mad at you, Nelson. Get it how you live it. However you want to pleasure yourself, that's your business. But the sharing of the pleasure toys, I don't care how you boil it, bleach it. I <laughs> Pleasure toys ain't but... $99 or less. Get your own. I don't ever want to use nobody else's pleasure toy. That's na that's nasty. I do. I am a little bit curious. What kind of pleasure toy was it, Nelson? I mean, your business. Get it how you live it. But just a little bit curious. <laughs> and I want to know why are other people using it. That's nasty. But let's move on. They showed this kiss between Ashley and Fessy, and it looked like the most awkward production setup kiss. I don't care what kind of vodka y'all were talking about, because, like, why? When you drunk, you ain't got to take the time to get a, a coat, a blanket, and, like, when you drunk, I seen some drunk kissing. That wasn't drunk kissing. That was, like, production. Go ahead and spice it up with Ashley a little bit. You know, it, it, it give you a little bit more exposure on the show if you, you fuck around with Ashley, and it looks so awkward. But let's move on. Um, okay, now we get to see all the hookups. We get to see Big T climb up in between Anissa's legs and kiss her. But then she's talking about, I don't like no tongue. Quit being fake lesbians. Quit that shit. It's not entertaining. It's not spicy. Like, if you ain't a real lesbian or bisexual and you ain't into kissing a girl, then don't. Then don't. It just looked awkward, pathetic, like you need some screen time. Stop it. And then you talking about you don't want no tongue, but you all in the reunion. Uh, like, bitch, no. No, bitch. I don't like Big T. Let's move on. <sighs> Layup Amber kisses Michi. Now, that looks spicy. Now, that's a kiss. That's a hookup. Why we couldn't see this on the show? I would have loved to see the storyline. Anissa kisses Layup Amber. Another little peg. That wasn't even worth showing in the reunion. We could have left that off. Big T. Oh, my God. Ashley kisses Big T. And then Ashley later, I mean, Big T is later back. And we, I kissed Ashley a lot that night. But when she kissed Ashley in that scene, Big T looked more terrified of that kiss of Ashley's than jumping out of that plane with that man on her back. Like, she looked like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, <clears throat> stop being fake lesbians for camera time. The shit, 
let's move on. Leroy gets a moment, and that's pretty much the end. Everyone does a little montage. They didn't to me. They didn't even show Leroy's best clips, but he did get to go like this again. Uh, I'm gonna miss that. Like to me, whenever I see somebody do this elimination, I'm gonna think of Leroy. CT and Darrell think he'll be back. I think he'll be back too, maybe for All Stars. Like he tired of fucking around with y'all on the regular challenge and. I think Leroy would do better on All-Stars, and he probably could win a season of All-Stars. I'm going to miss Leroy, but at the end of the day, the real winner is Black Love because Leroy and Cam found each other, and they're living together, doing great out in Houston. I'm happy to see it. Get, get a ass a spinoff show. I'll watch it. They want to close it with Josh crying, talking about how much he loves everybody, and I'm yelling at the TV, shut the fuck up, Josh. And then Fessy gives another open apology to everybody on the cast. If I did anything, I'm sorry, which means he's not sorry, but don't vote me in next season. And that's how we end it. That's it. Like, comment, share. I can't wait for 37. It's probably going to be a couple of months, but rock with me, y'all. Y'all know I do all competition reality shows. All Stars is still going on. All Stars will be up later on this weekend and big birth will be back this summer so we got a lot to talk about so like comment share and i will see you all later bye